What's up, guys? Welcome to this Denver Broncos Syndicate Film Study. I am your host, Gage Madrid. On today's episode, we're going to be breaking down Russell Wilson's dismal performance versus the Los Angeles Rams. Now, you don't need me to sit here and tell you that Russell Wilson played poorly. He threw three ugly interceptions, and it was just overall a bad day from him. The Broncos got blown out 51-14 to to the Rams, and this game resulted in the firing of Broncos head coach Nathaniel Hackett. In their press conference following the firing, Broncos owner and CEO Greg Penner, as well as general manager George Payton, expressed confidence in Russell Wilson moving forward. Although they did say that the next head coaching hire will be about the team as a whole, not just about Russ, they did say that they do believe that Russell Wilson can be fixed next season. So that's the question that I want you guys to ponder as we go throughout this film study. Do you believe that Russell Wilson can be fixed? So without further ado, let's just jump into the film. On this first play, the Broncos are going to come out and test the Rams with a play-action shot play with just three verts against a cover-one man look. There's your play-action right there. Running back's going to release and just hover over the ball. And the matchup that I want you guys to watch right here is Jalen Ramsey and Cortland Sutton. Broncos are going to test the Rams' best corner with their best deep ball receiver, their best one-on-one -on -one guy. Now, this is a tough start for the Broncos. Had they been able to hit on this, this may have been a completely different ball game. Nice move from Russ, but that's or nice move from Court, but that's also just great coverage from Jalen Ramsey. I'll roll it back here. I'm gonna pause it right there. Just look at Jalen Ramsey right here, man. He is absolutely locked up stride for stride with Cortland Sutton. It's a well-placed ball, in my opinion, from Russell Wilson, but that's just beautiful coverage. Textbook from Jalen Ramsey. Look at that, man. That's nice. Had the Broncos been able to hit on this play, again, this could have been a completely different ball game. Instead, they backed themselves up to third down and nine, and that set them up for this ugly play. All right, so I loved the aggressiveness on the first play, but on this play, this is borderline recklessness. The Rams are going to come out in a cover three zone look, and the Broncos are going to be running a deep over route right here with Cortland Sutton. Now, what I want you guys to watch here is Eric Saubert. He's going to come wide open here in the flats. This is easy money for Russell Wilson. Yes, it's third down and nine, but the Rams are playing a deep enough coverage where Saubert could potentially turn up field and possibly get the first down. Boom. Right there, man. Eric Saubert is wide open. And yeah, Cortland Sutton, he could eventually drag open and get open right here along the sideline, but there's a hoist of Rams defenders in between Russell Wilson and Cortland Sutton. This is a very muddy window. It would be a very tight window throw if Russ were to try to make it. I don't know why he decided to. Saubert's wide open. Instead, he sails this. And it ends up getting intercepted. In my opinion, Russ completely stares down Cortland Sutton on this play. We'll watch it from the tight. He's not even going to notice a wide open Eric Saubert. He keeps his eyes downfield the whole way. Doesn't even look in the flats. And that's a nice play by number 14 for the Rams. But that's a terrible, aggressive decision there from Russ that, again, was borderline recklessness. Just take what the defense gives you in that situation, dude. Punting the ball away and living to fight another down in this situation is not the worst thing in the world. Instead, we turn it over, give the Rams great field position, and they go up 10-0 on the Broncos. Had Russell Wilson just taken what the defense gave him, this could have been a completely different ball game. Instead, this is one of his many reckless decisions that cost us this game. So this is on Russ's very next throw, and it's going to be another interception where he's stares down his target 
Broncos are backed up to second down and 16 thanks to a holding call, and the Rams are going to come out in quarters coverage, so four deep defenders with three defenders underneath. Broncos are going to be running a hank route here to Greg Dulcich to the 25-yard line, and then they're just going to send Freddie Swain out to the flats here to the 20-yard line. Now, you could certainly make the argument that number 86, Freddie Swain, right here is wide open. Instead, watch Russ's eyes. He's going to be staring down Greg Dulcich on this hank route the whole way. The player I want you to watch for the Rams is number 45, Bobby Wagner. This is Russell Wilson's old teammate for all those years in Seattle. They were drafted in the same year. They left Seattle in the same year. These two know each other well. They practiced against each other almost every day. They went up against each other in training camp. There's no way that Bobby Wagner is going to buy any of Russell Wilson's tricks. Watch how Russ is going to stare Dulcich down and Bobby Wagner reads it perfectly and he's going to pick it off. And again, this is Russ's the throw right after his first interception and he's caught staring down Greg Dulcich again. We'll watch it from the tight and I just want you to watch Russell Wilson's eyes. Just like the last play, he's going to be completely locked on to Greg Dulcich and Wagner Reads Russ's eyes, picks it off. That's too easy. You're not going to fool a veteran player like that, especially one that you practiced against for 10 years in Seattle. That's a great play by Wagner, and I don't know what the hell Russell Wilson was doing. He had a man open in the flats. He stares down Greg Dulcich, and you're not going to get past Bobby Wagner doing that. Now we're going to come back to some good. This is going to be a really nice throw here from Russ. Broncos are going to be running this big in route here with Cortland Sutton. They're going to pair it here with sort of this knife route, kind of this angle route here from Greg Dulcich. And I want you to watch the job Russell Wilson does navigating the pocket on this play. A little motion out there from Judy. Good job from Russ evading the pressure, stepping up, and he delivers a strike. That is a really nice throw there from Russell Wilson. Those are the flashes that he shows of his old self. Navigates the pocket, steps up, delivers a perfectly timed ball. Now, these are the plays where you can sit here and say, yes, Russell Wilson absolutely is fixable because he can still make these high degree of difficulty throws like he showed on that play. The issue is we have not been able to see the consistency from him on these type of plays, and that's going to continue to show up all across this game on film. So now we got some more bad here. Rams are going to come out in a cover two zone blitz. And for whatever reason, missing in the flats in this game was an endemic problem for Russell Wilson. This time, he's going to have Eric Tomlinson right here. He's going to be running wide open in the flats. And I don't know why, but Russell Wilson is not going to take the easy money. It's first down and 10. You cannot go broke taking a profit. Look, Russ, right there, dude. Take it. He's going to turn up field and net a positive gain on first down and 10. That's all you want. Instead, Russell Wilson going to hold on to the ball way too long, tries to spin out to his left, and takes a sack. And this sack is 100% on Russell Wilson. This has been a problem for him all season long. He refuses to take the easy money, tries to create a big play downfield, and he gets sacked. I don't know what else to say that can explain this. Russell Wilson, it feels like, tries to get too greedy in these situations. Tom Brady has made his career taking those short, easy throws underneath and killing you with 10,000 paper cuts. And here, Russell Wilson absolutely refuses to take the easy money. And as a fan and analyst of this team, it is absolutely frustrating to watch. All right, so now we're going to come back to some more good. And this is going to be an example of Russ taking the easy money and taking the layup shots Jerry Judy right here just gonna be running a quick curl route and this is a good job from Russell Wilson getting the ball out on time and delivering a strike Jerry Judy makes a nice move to turn up field but that's a good job by Russ kind of gets spun down at the end there but no penalty but again good job by Russ quick strike knows exactly where he wants to go and that is an example of Russ being able to 
deliver the ball in structure and on time. That's nice. We just need to see this more consistently from Russell Wilson. So this is another well-timed throw by Russ. Cover one robber for the Rams. They're just going to be running a deep out route to about the 42-yard line. Cortland Sutton on Jalen Ramsey. This is a matchup that the Broncos had been testing quite a bit in this game. Try to see if they could exploit Ramsey in this one. And here they do. Good job by Russ delivering an accurate throw on the sideline. And that'll move the chains. Broncos have themselves backed up on this play. And this is a good job right here. Getting a good chunk of that yardage back. It's a really nice throw there from Russ. So here we got some more bad, and once again, it's going to be Russell Wilson missing an easy layup shot. The Rams are going to come out in quarter-quarter half defense or cover six. We've explained cover six before on this channel, so reference some of our earlier film studies if you want to learn more about cover six. The Broncos are going to have Jerry Judy just running a little five-yard out route here, just a little speed out right to the 40-yard line. And once again, this is easy money that Russell Wilson doesn't take. This is off coverage here from the Rams, and that would have been a nice little pickup there for the Broncos on a first down and 10 play. It's an easy layup shot that once again Russell Wilson just refuses to take I don't know why there's Jerry Judy now he eventually does have Latavius Murray come open later in the progression but he's gonna ding the throw off Quinn Miner's helmet look at this you don't have to make this so hard on yourself Russ come on Take the easy money. Instead, we come back to it and the ball goes off freaking Quinn Miner's helmet. Come on, Russ. You're making this way harder than it needs to be on yourself. Look at this. That is just ridiculous. Russell Wilson refusing to take those easy throws that net you positive plays on first down. That's all I want to see from him, and he's just not doing it. It's so infuriating. So here we've got an example of Russell Wilson just not having any idea what a hot route is. It's second down and 10 from the LA 45 and we got Jalen Ramsey here. When the Rams put Ramsey in the nickel, they call it the star position and Ramsey is going to be firing off the edge from the nickel position. Now to beat this, the Broncos have got, I'll put it in a different color, they've got Freddie Swain just running a quick little stop route right here. This is called a hot route. I know I shouldn't have done red against a pink against pink, but still. This is called a hot route right here. These throws are designed to beat the blitz. When you throw into the blitz, that's the best way to beat it because there's less defenders who are in coverage downfield. Boom. Right here. Russ. This is easy money. Jalen Ramsey coming off the edge. He's going to be firing right into your face. Best way to beat him is to throw it right into his face. He's got his hot route open right there. He needs to just put it on him. Instead, spins out of the pressure and has to throw the ball in the dirt. Come on, Russ. Throw your hot. It's wide open. It's wide open, dude, right there. Just throw the hot route. Just throw it. You don't need to make it harder than on yourself than it needs to be, dude. This is some high school football stuff. This really is, and Russell Wilson is missing this easy throw. This is high school football stuff, man. This cannot be missed by a 10-year NFL quarterback who's been to the Pro Bowl nine times. This is ridiculous. Russell Wilson then took a sack on the next play. The Broncos had to punt. The Rams go downfield and score a touchdown. And now the Broncos find themselves down 31-3. Russell Wilson killed this drive and killed any chance that the Broncos had to come back in this game. This was the kill shot by Russell Wilson. Frustrating. Frustrating. This is some nice play design right here. Broncos are going to have Jerry Judy go on a little orbit motion right here. These two guys are going to come out and block in front of him. Then they're going to have on the front side here, Greg Dulcich just running this little shallow crossing route. 
Now, since Jalen Ramsey is obviously not going to have to cover Jerry Judy on this play, he's going to be man-on-man here against Greg Dulcich. It's going to be off coverage, so Ramsey could potentially get lost in traffic, and this could potentially get open here on the shallow cross. There's your motion there. Taylor Rapp goes and follows him. And boom, right there. Greg Dulcich is wide open. Good job by Russ standing in pressure and delivers a strike. Watch it from the tight. There's your motion. That is really nice from Russ. He's got a man in his face and still able to deliver the ball on time. Broncos in a one-minute drill here trying to get at least a field goal before halftime, and this is a good start. All right, so we've got another bad play here for the Broncos. Single high man coverage for the Rams, and I'm just going to let the clip roll. Boom, right there. Once again, man, man open in the flat right here, man open in the flat right here. Russell Wilson refuses to take the easy money. First down and 10, you've got one timeout left. You can get out of bounds right here and stop the clock. You've got, you're inside 46 seconds. This is easy football, easy money. Steady hesitates in the pocket and steps up into a sack. I don't get it. I genuinely don't get it. Look at this. He's got two wide open guys and he just steps up right into Bobby Wagner's pressure. And then the Broncos are forced to burn their final timeout. That's poor situational football. And again, man, I don't know why Russ was allergic to throwing in the flats in this game. That is, what, five or six times in the first half alone where Russell Wilson has gotten greedy and refuses, and I mean objectly refuses, to take the easy money. It's so frustrating to watch. It's frustrating. So now we got 40 seconds left. Cover six here for the Rams. Russell Wilson not going to like what he has downfield, so he does a good job weaving his way out of pressure and dives forward to get that first down and puts his body on the line. You don't really like to see him do that, given that's how he got himself injured against the Kansas City Chiefs a couple weeks ago. But you also have to admire the effort at the same time, man. That's putting his body on the line right there. So the Broncos, with a couple of incompletions on their last two plays, now it's nine seconds left, and they have to get into field goal range. The Rams are just going to be playing a prevent defense, so three defenders deep. Man coverage underneath with just a three-man rush. Now the Broncos are going to be sending Jerry Judy on this sail route, a deep sail route, to about the 31-yard line, and they're going to get a chance to get into field goal range on this play. Russ, little step up there, delivers on time to Judy, and a great job by Jerry making the move to get out of bounds. I have no idea what that Rams defender there was doing. Just keep him in bounds. Don't let him get out of bounds. Instead, the Rams do let him get out of bounds with one second left. That's a sick move there by Jerry. And that sets the Broncos up with a 49-yard field goal try, which was good heading into halftime. The Broncos were still down 31-6 to at that point. The first half was just completely plagued with missed opportunities. It was so frustrating. Had just a few plays gone the other way for the Broncos, this could have been a completely different ball game. Instead, everything that could have gone wrong did go wrong for the Broncos in this game. So coming into the first play of the second half now, and this is a play that the Broncos borrowed from Kyle Shanahan and the 49ers. The Niners scored on this play a couple of weeks ago on Thursday Night Football against the Seattle Seahawks with George Kittle. So the way this play works here is you're going to have the running back right here, Marlon Mack. He's going to run this little swing. Got Chase Edmonds right here. They're going to fake it to him, and he's going to come across to the flats. And then Greg Dulcich right here, he's going to come off and bluff block Number 54 right here, and he's just going to release upfield, kind of at this little angle knife route almost. 
And this is really nice play design here. Again, borrowed from Kyle Shanahan and the Niners. It's a good way to start off the second half. You a couple of pump fakes, clear the void in the middle, and fire it to a wide open Dulcich. Ball came out at the end, but he was ruled down by contact. Rams challenged it. The rule stood. That's a really nice play right there. And this is a copycat league in the NFL. Guys are going to steal plays from each other. So you could tell someone from the Broncos saw this on tape and decided to implement it into their own game plan. The 49ers scored a touchdown on it. The Broncos were able to pick up a nine yard gain coming out of halftime. So this is a well executed scramble drill here. Cam Fleming, a left tackle, going to get beat to the inside. Good job by Russ getting out of the pocket, keeping the play alive. Flips it downfield to Jerry Judy. Good job by him getting open. And that'll be an 18-yard gain, and that'll move the chains. Good, well-executed scramble drill. And another little flash there of vintage Russ. Able to extend the play, find a man downfield, and keep the play alive. This is really nice. Pressure there. Russ, a little twitchy, evades it. And a nice job by Jerry Judy making a move, picking up extra yardage. Very good job by the Broncos there on the scramble drill. This is another nice throw from Russ. Rams are going to come out in single high man coverage. Jalen Ramsey right here. He's going to be firing off of his nickel position. Broncos are going to run a post route here with Jerry Judy up here on the backside. And this is a really nice throw from Russ. Running out of that split backfield look, and boom. Right where it needs to be. That's a well-timed, accurate throw. Backed up to first down and 20 following a holding penalty. That gets a good chunk of it back. That's a really nice job from Russell Wilson. Stands in, fires, strike. So now we got to come back to some more bad, and this is going to be Russell Wilson's third interception of the day. Rams are going to come out in a cover one linebacker blitz with Bobby Wagner, and the Broncos actually have a well-designed play to beat this coverage with Greg Dulcich right here running the slot fade route. Now I'm just going to go ahead and roll the play here. If you watch right here, this is just about to get open, but look at Russell Wilson. He's already running out of a relatively clean pocket. The Rams also ran a little bit of a stunt up front, and the Broncos picked up both the blitz and the stunt really well. This was a clean pocket that Russell Wilson had no reason to leave. And it's going to completely muck things up. Greg Dulcich is going to come open on this play. You see right here that Jalen Ramsey in his nickel position, he's kind of stumbling, but it's going to be a high degree of difficulty throw for Russ to make on the run. What you'd like to see him do here, especially on a second down and four, just check it down, dude. Just check it down right here to the running back. You're going to pick up some positive yardage and he probably turns up field and picks up the first down. Instead, Russell Wilson going to continue to scramble out and try this ball late. By the time he does try it, Jalen Ramsey's all over it, and it's an easy interception. Once again, man, Russell Wilson needs to take the layup shots. Chase Edmonds with a little block there. Right there. He's wide open. Just flip it to him. You're kind of looking at him too, dude. Just flip it to him, and he's probably got the first down. I get you're trying to be aggressive and make a play down by so many points, but this again is recklessness from Russell Wilson. If you're going to abandon the slot fade, you can't come back to it late. You got to hang in the clean pocket and deliver the fade when it's open. Don't give Jalen Ramsey a chance to come back and drive on it. This is a terrible job by Russ. Third interception of the day. And that pretty much slammed the door for the Denver Broncos. That's not how this play is supposed to work, Russ. You can't come off your read late and then try to come back to it and throw a pick like that. That's just a horrible quarterback play. So here we got another play where Russell Wilson is absolutely allergic to throwing in the flat. 
Rams are going to come out in a cover four zone, also known as quarters coverage. This guy right here is going to go in motion to the left side. They're going to send Greg Dulcich right here on this wheel route, and then they're going to send Jerry Judy up the seam. Now, this is a good play call against this coverage. You're hoping to be able to hit Greg Dulcich right here on the wheel, but worst case scenario, you can just dump it underneath here to Latavius Murray in the flat. There's your motion right there from Swain. Boom. How many times have we seen this today? Easy money. It's first down and 10. Just check it down, Russ. Just take the easy money. You could also argue that coming up later here in the progression, the wheel route is going to briefly, and I mean briefly come open right here. If Russ delivers the ball on a line, he could potentially hit him, but that's a very high degree of difficulty throw. But the better option here, dude, just check it down. Best case scenario, he's going to get back to the line of scrimmage. Or I guess even better case scenario, he drops it and it's just an incomplete pass. Instead, Russ is going to let the pressure back into him and he stumbles into his seventh sack of the day. And that's another one of those self-induced sacks from Russ. Just check it down. Take the easy money. If Murray's smart, he'll drop it. Otherwise, dude, again, you can't stumble into a sack like that. Just throw it at his feet. Throw it at Murray's feet, and it's an incomplete pass. If you really want to get aggressive, try to hit Greg Dulcich right here on the wheel. We cannot take a sack in this situation. That's our seventh of the day. And yet another one that's on Russell Wilson. That's embarrassing. So now we got some nice throws from Russ to close out the day. Got a really nice throw here on a deep dig route against man coverage. Identifies where the pressure is coming from. Hangs in. Delivers a strike right as Sutton's coming out of his break. He's able to spin up field. It's third down and 13 on this play. Sutton able to gain the necessary yardage to move the chains. That's a nice play. Well-timed throw from Russ. And that moves the chains. Good job. Here, we got a really nice throw to Jerry Judy on a double move against Troy Hill in man coverage. Jerry Judy is going to absolutely leave Troy Hill in the dust on this play. He's on a completely different planet, and Judy then goes up, makes a really nice catch, and forced out of bounds there by the safety yeast. But it's a good job by Rush just hanging it up. This was on fourth down and four. Keeps the driver alive and at least gets the Broncos in position to make the scoreboard a little bit more respectable at the end of the day. Good move from Judy there and a good job by Russ putting it up where only his guy can go up and get it. And the Broncos are in scoring position. Really nice job right there. And the last play I got for you guys is going to be a touchdown. A little scramble out to the right. Good job by Russell Wilson keeping the play alive. Greg Dulcich a little out and up. Good job by him working back to the ball. Russ gets hit as he throws. That's a nice throw there. Touchdown at least makes the box score a little bit more respectable, if nothing else. This was Russ's last play of the game. Broncos tried an onside kick. They didn't get it. Rams went down and field and scored again, and Brett Rippon took over for the rest of the game. So, do I think that Russell Wilson is fixable after watching this tape? I really don't know. You see the flashes of where you could say, yes, absolutely, he is fixable, but he absolutely has not been able to harness it consistently enough, and that's been the big issue for the Broncos all season long. You have to wonder if maybe with some better coaching, we will get that more consistent play out of Russell Wilson on the field. I'm not sure, though, at this point. Some of his physical decline is quite apparent on film. He doesn't quite have the twitchiness and the mobility that he used to 
have. His downfield accuracy has gotten quite shaky at times. And those are things that I just don't know if Russell Wilson will be able to fix moving forward. I hope I'm wrong, but at this point, there is some cause for doubt and skepticism as to if Russell Wilson can be salvaged and if he could be fixed moving forward. All right, Broncos country, after watching the tape, do you guys believe that Russell Wilson is salvageable? And do you believe that he'll be able to harness a somewhat respectable level of play next season? Drop those comments down below. I would love to hear from you. Be sure to leave a like on this video as well as subscribe and ring the bell so these videos appear in your notification feed. Those are two free and easy ways that you can help support the channel. Also, while you're at it, be sure to follow me on Twitter at Gage Madrid NFL for even more Broncos coverage. And for now, this has been another episode of Denver Broncos Syndicate. I am your host, Gage Madrid, saying peace out.